Hi, my name is Florian Edra, and along with Paul Goldsmith Pinkham and Kyle Jensen, I'm one of the authors of a study on toxic speech and economics, focusing on the website EconJob Market Rumors. In this video, I'm going to describe how to associate posts with IP addresses on EJMR. It's important to know that the EJMR username scheme I'm describing here was in effect from the 8th of July 2013 to the 17th of May 2023, and if you visit the website now, the scheme is different. Recall from my last video that I made two posts. The first post was in the topic with ID 1127272, where I received the username 824E. The second post was in the topic with ID 1127329, where I received the username 607E. For each of these, we calculated a set of IP addresses that would have received the same usernames that I received. In the first post, there were 65,668 of these. And in the second post, there were 65,907 of these. But my IP address, the true IP address, was the only one that appeared in both of these sets. That's because the IP addresses for any given topic username combination are uniformly distributed over the range of possible IP addresses due to the avalanche property of the SHA-1 hash. To generalize this to other posts, we need to know two other things. First, what's the probability that the username for my IP address appears by chance in a particular topic? This follows a hypergeometric distribution. And in any given week on EGMR, how often do we expect my IP to show up by chance? This follows a Poisson binomial distribution. Please read our working paper for more details. With these tools in hand, let's look at a more general example. Imagine we want to find the IP address from which this post was made. You can see that the topic ID is 175901 and the username 6B42. We start with the 2 to the 32 possible IP addresses. The hash inversion narrows it down to about 65,000. Now, how many of these 65,000 IPs explain other topic usernames in a seven-day window? Well, the vast majority of them, about 58,000, explain nothing else that week. About 6,600 of them explain one other topic username combination that week. That is very close to what we'd expect by chance. About 370 IPs explain two other topic username combinations. 12 IPs explain three topic username combinations the week of this post. None explain four and none explain five. This is all what we'd expect by chance for false positive IP addresses. But if you've been keeping count, you'll notice that there's one matching IP that's missing. All the way down here, there's one IP address that explains 103 other posts this week. You can see this has a p-value of 10 to the minus 267. It's an extremely unlikely event by chance. In our paper, we make the argument that this IP address is the likely source of this post, and we describe an optimization procedure that finds a small set of such outlier IP addresses that explains the observed posts on EGMR. 